American Sun. When I was 10, I rolled my hair in rags for Shirley Temple ringlets, polished my teeth white for a pepsodent smile, clattered about in slick tap shoes so my father sent me away to his mother in Japan, who took me in because I was hers. A piece of an only son sent home like dirty laundry to be washed and pressed, then returned to America less tomboy, American more ladylike, Japanese. A daily reminder of him who only yesterday crossed that river on a swinging narrow bridge to school. A thin boned body like his that worked years ago in the teeming rice fields until dark. Sarukeri, returning to one's origins, wherever that may be, a tradition in Japan, caring for grandmothers and great grandmothers, my father said, do this for me. Satokeri, returning and turning for an absentee son whose memories of boyhood, days hardened like frosting on an uneaten cake. I came unformed, took sliding runs on polished corridors, never closed shoji's behind me, never stopped asking questions about grandmother's curly hair. She unrolled daily and ironed, straight with a rod warmed on coals, never stopped being frightened by great-grandmother's smile, showing black teeth. She died with a wad of cotton dipped in berry juice, like the grand doms in old Japanese movies. My grandmother answered only questions I never asked. Yes, your papa is my son. Yes, my landlord, my son, comes home only twice in 23 years, once to build this house. He was a good son. What good? is a son in America. Mitsui Yamada